Hi, this is Suze Lamentero. Okay, so I'm going to be gone for a minute. Okay, so I'm going to do a collective reading for the next four weeks out. Okay, so let's do that. All right, so let's see. Next four weeks out. Growth, community. Woo, wealth. Growth, community, wealth. One more. On the bottom. That one said knowledge is power, and it got wealth and wealth. Look at that. Okay, so... I've got money on the mind here. Okay. All right. Well, we can let it in. It's here. So that was coming up in Aquarius reading, right? you got to get in the place where you're receiving it, uh, even if it looks like it's not there. Okay. Get in the uh, dream world. Where is it? It's right where you are. And then... What are you doing with it? What are you um, spending the money on? What are you... Um, are you saving it? What are you doing with it, right? Okay. Are you investing it? Reinvesting? Okay, things like that. Make bold and ambitious choices. Great progress is possible. Important relationship with people who share your vision. Yeah, finding that deep courage right within. Strength and grace through kindness and self-confidence and forgiveness. Woo! That's 11 energy, leading edge, moving in the leading edge energy. Ooh, I like it. So let's get this growth. Okay. So some of you it might be a Leo or a water sign. Okay. Learn about nonviolent communication. Nonviolent communication is a way of communicating that can deepen relationships and be per personally empowering. It helps us to hear our own needs and the needs of others and is powerfully transformative. Start with free videos on YouTube and if you can, get a book on the topic to really absorb information. Nonviolent Communication by Marshall Rosenberg is a good choice. Practice what you learn at least 12 times. focus it here okay so more positive communication okay so that's going to lead the path to money okay so all right here we go Woo! for gabriel okay so whatever it is with this libra energy that was showing up uh, they got I think they got the four of wands. Okay, so um, whatever it is, there's going to be success here. It's going to all work out. Everything's working out. Time for celebration, abundant rewards for hard work. Release yourself from uh, burdensome situations. Okay, so no matter what's going on in the outside world, you have the ability to bring peace to yourself. Um, ease and freedom in your mind stuff, right? Okay, and uh, tune into your heart. That's the quickest way to it. Okay, and here's some castles of castle. Hmm. 
Make a new friend. Choose an acquaintance and create a plan to transform them into a friend. Building a new friendship takes time, so you will need to invest in the friendship over several months. Invite your future friend to an activity at least once a month for six months. It can be different activities every month or an ongoing event like a community center or class or sport. It might take a few invites to find an activity and time that works. Don't let one declined invitation stop you. Yes, I like that one. Okay, it's like opening new doors. Okay, that's that was coming up for a while. Okay, but people were sticking to the same thing because it was comfortable. So it's like reach in different places, right, for your abundance too. Okay, or for the tools you need to move on. Okay, what can I give energetically if I can't give in monetary stuff, right? There's that too. Because uh, if you're receiving, giving is uh, balances out uh, things. Okay, so Ada Michael. You can be free. Make a courageous choice to change your situation. You may not be seeing things clearly. Okay, so. All right, so it's like, do you feel caged in in a way? And if you do, bring thoughts of freedom and let that be dominant. Liberate yourself is the message. Okay. So that could be someone's sexuality. That could be anything that feels repressing. So it's like free yourself now, right, by turn, tuning into the light. This could be like the hermit. You've got two. Okay, so. It's all about the courage. Courageous. You got courage here. Strength. Okay. So you might be connecting with. Oh, okay. So I'm getting. If you're an uh, uh, Aquarius, okay, you may be in Leon energy, okay, to try and bring in courage and strength, okay, and show the face of strength. Okay. Oh, that could be any air sign. It could be anyone. Okay. King of Ariel. Successful, stable, accomplished, and powerful. Okay. Your plans are working out very well. Professional and financial success using resources wisely. Okay. So if one door seems closed, you open it in your mind stuff. And then... Do the energetic work first, and then you'll see it in the physical reality. Okay. Let's open those doors of wealth. Knowledge is power. Knowing how we spend our money empowers us to make better choices about our finances. Okay, so they're showing me like, okay, like when a person diets, right? They, they can write down the things they eat in a day. Okay, so... If you count your blessings, right, um, and write down the blessings that you received, uh, then that can help to bring in more too. All right. So when you feel like there's not enough or whatever, then you can refer back to that. The other thing is um, keeping a, a organized catalog I'm getting organization, so organizing your mind or organizing um, the things that do come in, okay, and keeping track of it. Inventory is what I'm getting, okay. Keeping inventory, okay, keep track of everything you purchase for four weeks and categorize your expenses. Note how much you are spending on coffee, eating out, entertainment, clothes, car expenses, etc. Now, if it's at work and you're a finance person, you want to pay attention to that too. This could be work. Okay. Okay. So as you itemize these things, right, not to be um, micromanaging or uh, stingy, right, but Sometimes just getting an assessment of what's coming in and what, what's going out can help you feel more empowered to 
make change or see that abundance is coming in. Multiply each by 12 to see how much you spend in a year. Okay, so do you see any areas where you spend more than you thought? Could that money uh, be put to better use, such as saving for a vacation you've always wanted, right? Okay, so vacation here. Maybe it's time to take a vacation, some of you, right? Maybe you can't. But you can bring the, you certainly can bring the feeling of vacation to yourself. Okay, so there's that. And then it can manifest quicker. Okay, so they're showing me like during the pandemic, right? We had to stay in a lot. And <laughs> the, oh, you don't have to go to this extreme, but it, it's it was funny. Okay, so the lady set up the uh, TV and put on the um, wherever she was supposed to travel to. Okay. And she put a pool, a baby pool or something right there in front of the TV. And, but it was as it was uh, long enough for her to get in it. <laughs> and uh, I think she was even having a cocktail or something while she was um, sitting there in front of the TV, pretending as if, right? So those are the kind of things that can actually bring it and move it faster in the physical reality, okay? Even though she was just trying to make light of the situation, right? Okay, so there's that. So where can I find the light in whatever situation's going on, right? Looking for that. Training yourself to look there. Okay, and letting that be the dominant. Okay, so here is plan for your future. Make a retirement plan that will enable you to have the retirement you want. You're never too young or too old, but the younger you start, the easier it will be. You can find lots of retirement advice online for DIY folks or you can speak to a financial advisor. Having a plan in place will enable you to inform decisions. Also feeling more empowered, right? Like you're doing something towards it. Being well prepared can reduce anxiety and financial stress both now and in the future. Make a note in your calendar to review progress and update your plan annually. Let me see if I can do this so you can get a screenshot. All right. Okay, here we go. Keep on going. Okay, divine guidance five. And, and this energy can get you out of this five energy. Okay, this uh, going within, right? The search for meaning in life. Consider an alternative approach. Surround yourself with wise teacher or friends. Okay, now sometimes take a look at that, right? Philosophers have old ideas. Okay. And it may not be the leading edge idea, right? What was done in the past. We're reaching for new here. So if you've met density by following some philosophy from the past, it's asking you to tune in to that pure source within you because that is where all the latest versions of those old books are. All right. Search for meaning, like consider an alternative approach. Surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. So that's like being around people who are uplifting to be around, right? Okay, so, and that can help change your world. Here's another five. That came up in a reading earlier. Okay, so this situation doesn't serve you. Release your attachment to outcome. Consider taking more uplifting approach. So whatever this five energy represents for you. The dense energy. Okay, so it's like, let go. That grip, okay? And free yourself. Uh, try more uplifting approaches. Something different. 
to make change. Now, so whatever that five energy was, you felt like there were no opportunities and no room for healing or love. Okay, so we want to let the love in, right? Love and blessings fill your love life. Harmonious relationships with family members and happy ever after. Happily ever after. What does happily ever after look like to you? Feel those places out. I feel like that's really important. And there's kids here. You're having nice conversations. There's a rainbow. Things are looking up and promising. Okay. There might even be little fairies here in the corner. <laughs> Okay, seven of Michael, there is a better course of action available to you if you've been in this five energy, right? Okay, working alone may not be the best answer. Review all the details. Okay, so if you've been in assertive energy or uh, it's like running with the bulls. Okay, so, or locking horns, not actually running with the bulls. It's like going against a bull. Okay, and if you've been doing that, then um, it's like go with the flow. See what spirit is presenting you in every moment, right? Tune into that. And if you haven't been having that much success by doing my way is the highway, uh, you might want to take a look at that, right? Okay, all right. Yeah, insights come from quiet meditation, the need for more sleep or time off. Seek relief from stress. Okay, so if you see other people taking time, right, um, and you feel like you can't, there is transcendental meditation and there is meditation where you can feel like you've slept for hours. Okay, I'll leave you with that. Thank you.